Hello and welcome back to The Selling Dan. So I'm here today, I brought a lovely lady along with me. She's here, look. Hi. Brought Amy along, <laughs> my wife. <laughs> she's actually really scared at the minute. And I don't know why, she's scared because people are watching us record. Now, I've done 56, 57, you'll need to, I'm in 50 no, odd videos. 56, and, yeah. 56 videos now, I'm past caring. Uh, but He's for Amy, past caring. I'm not <laughs> past caring. Amy needs to know that people aren't watching us. I don't mind the watching us. It's not. It's not the watching us that. that what are you doing? You've got all hair around. You think? Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's just. It's just odd. Carry on. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, so we're here today. We're going to go a bit of charity shop shopping. We're going to go a bit of charity shop shopping. We're charity shopping <laughs> uh, because no, there's no there's no car boots on today. We have no children, uh, so we've come down to Chesterfield. Well, and we still gonna, have children. Yeah, they're just not with us. Not, we haven't got children with us, so we're just going to see how we get. On. I'm, I'm already annoyed. She's annoying me already. <laughs> <laughs> this is what she's like all the time. Uh, and you know what? He makes me out to be such a, a stickler and so nasty, and I'm. It's not like that at all. A lot of the stuff he says on his channel, especially the weekly sales, just made up. Don't listen to a word of it. <laughs> Makes me out to be a right one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, completely. <laughs> uh, so we're going to try the Salvation Army first. Uh, Amy's really looking forward to it because she's all, all into this now. Uh, and we're just going to see what we can pick up. This is not my domain. This is Daniel's. I, I'm hoping she finds some things. I try. Sorry, she won't pick them up. She'll just point to them. I don't know. I just can't. I'm, I can't quite get into the reselling. I support him 100%. Love that he loves it. I mean, this is easier than a car boot for me. Car boots, I just... I'm just so uncomfortable. I can't, I can't get into it. This is like a step in between, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, you've been to a car boot. I've been to two now. Have you? No, you've only I, been to one. I went to Brid as well. Oh yeah, you went to Brid, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's been to two and she weren't hundred percent enjoying it then, so I just I'm just not comfortable. I think it's just a, how long like it'll take to get I will get comfortable in the end. We'll but... take a step back and we'll start going to some charity shops. They're actual shops, so you've got to you can be yeah. a bit calmer. Tilt the camera down because you're just seeing a lot of finger. There you All go. Right, oh, sorry. Yeah, so we're gonna get in. We need to we need to get in because we've been speaking for three minutes about uh, nothing. <laughs> and uh <laughs> Let's get picking. Let's get picking. <laughs> She's rushing in, look at her. Where are you going? Oh, look at this. <laughs> Selling damn merch. Hint, hint. Right, it's the old one, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, see what I can find. Thanks. Age before beauty and all that, so we'll get straight into it and we'll start looking around the Christmas decorations. Age before beauty? What does that mean? Well, you let me in first. Oh, carry on. Yeah. Um, so, the first thing I noticed is this really nice, cool um, Tigger jumping Christmas decoration. Obviously, prime time of year. Um, I just thought I'd do a bit of research away from uh, it and just see if it was worth my while. And it was 100% was. Amy's face says it all, she's highly impressed. Meanwhile, I'd found these velvet baubles, three of. Um, they're just in really nice condition. I think we showed these on our social media, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Um, and I, I really yeah. like them. Sorry if I sound a bit nasal, by the way, I've got a cold. We're going through here, and I, I, I quite like picking up the um, paper mache Christmas decorations. And the first thing that Amy's noticing while going through all these is um, that there is some in there. So it's good that she's been spotting from previous videos what I've been picking up. Um, and these were a nice, nice sets to be honest. Um, we decided I decided to go quickly back and get a basket. Started filling up with these Christmas decorations. I got the three that Amy wanted. You know, they they were in really nice condition. We left one behind. Well, I wasn't that bothered. I mean, I just did it because you said they were worth it. All right. Well, you obviously liked them. Yeah, I did like them. Um, Stop now, saying them. You say them all the time. All right. So, <laughs> um, we're just picking yeah. these up. Most most of these were marked at fifty p. Uh, the larger ones were marked at a pound. Um, but later on. You'll see that she actually just charges fifty p in general, just across the board. She yeah, that that was good, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, she weren't really bothered about checking them all, so that worked out quite well. In the end, I think I ended up with fourteen baubles. 
Three, three, sure. three of the little Quite parts, and then uh, eleven paper mache ones, which I'll bundle up together. We kind of got all the same sort of pattern, um, so that'd be a nice bundle to get off. Tigger barging his way through. I'm gonna go over and take a look at suitcases, as I always do when I'm coming to this charity shop. Not the greatest selection today. This is normally a lot bigger, as you'll see on, on previous videos. There was an antler. It was in very rough condition. Um, so I decided to drop it back down. The hard shit, you, you've got to be looking out for the hard shells this time of year. Um, or most of the time of year, anyway. I was going to say, this time of year, oh, is November yeah. a prime holiday time. All right. But, you know, the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fabric ones just don't sell as quick. They, they, they are good sellers, but, you know, once every one or two months. Now it's just a case of going around each aisle, scouting up and down, um, and seeing if we can uh, see anything as we go. We were quite late on today, so this is around about half one-ish, was it? Half, half twelve. Half twelve. Um, so most of it had actually already been picked. I, I was quite surprised. Salvation Army is normally quite good for getting, like, rotating the stock quite a lot and getting new stock out. But even the lady at the till, when it comes to the end, said, you know, there, there hasn't been hardly any uh, donations today, so they're running a bit low. And she said the sales were down as well today. So if we'd have got there at nine o'clock, maybe it'd have been a different story, but uh, slim pickings today. Take a look over the, the closed stuff, but I'd been there, I think I'd been there midweek um, on the Wednesday, so I'd already kind of checked all these over and there wasn't anything um, new or, or that stood out. Meanwhile, I don't know where Amy is. Probably give up. I was just milling around. <laughs> Staying out of the way. <laughs> not helping. <laughs> there's, not oh, much help. there. there's not much help I can do. Uh. Creeping up. <laughs> Looking happy. I was happy, we met. There's normally some quite good um, coats in this section. Now, the Army Greens did. Uh, catch my eye, I did a little bit of research, he was marked up at around about £10 though um, this was just a, a school, uh, local schools team I believe uh, but the Army Greens I, I checked out and they were around about £15 to £20 and they were marked up at 12 so it wasn't, there, there were no margins in that for me In really good condition though, and the official army dispatch or whatever you want to call it that they actually give you when you sign up, not just a replica. Shoes are always difficult in the Salvation Army. They've they've never really got. There's not any many, is there? No. I checked these ones out just because they were in the box um, and. I keep saying it, Amy keeps looking at me because I'm saying um. I just find it so annoying when people talk and every other word's um, um, sorry. I wonder if, <laughs> if you, if you won't feel the same, just pop down in the comments here, it's annoying, but I know it's easily done. Oh, what you're doing, put Dan's annoying. But all, I can, <laughs> but all I can hear is um, um, and I think because I'm aware of it, I notice it all the more. Anyway, carry on. Thanks. Just the annoying out voiceovers for our videos. Annoying or helpful? I think I'm helpful. Yeah, I'll go for helpful then. Checking out the bric a brac, going round, just doing a quick look. It it was very very slow today, very slow. There were a hell of a lot of people in, for not a lot of stock. There looks like a lot of stock to me though, so I don't really know what you're talking about. Well, a it's, lot it's a full shop. Yeah, yeah, but a lot of stock as in stuff that. I'd pick up or... Would you say most people that come here then are, are resellers? Yes. Yeah. On an, a, but how do you know them? Because I wouldn't know who are, who who people who resell there. Like, I don't think it's obvious. It might be obvious to you. Is it the what things they're looking at? And how yeah, they're looking it's, at how, it's, it's how they're looking at them. Um, the, the nth detail that they're actually... 
each person's kind of going to the specific area of the store that they want to go to. Um, and you can tell some people, like this gentleman here uh, with his daughter, I'd say 100% probably coming in for personal uh, items. But I, I'd like to say in a charity shop these days, you 60-70% of people would be people that are buying for profit. Just yeah. the way they look at the items. I suppose, just I suppose the way a lot of people as well are, are both. Yeah, yeah. Personal and resale. Yeah. What are they? Towels? Is that uh, towel? Curtains. Always looking at curtains now, thanks to Cheryl. What, that blue one? The dolphin yeah, on the it? The dolphin one, no, that's a bed sheet. Um. But the, the ones behind it, I thought you were on about the linen ones behind it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty funky curtain, wasn't it? So yeah, the majority of people when you're looking in there, they're looking into the empty detail of stuff. They're not really looking for a specific size when they're going through clothes. They're looking at a general each rail. That's how you can yeah. tell the reseller as well. Yeah. Because if you're going for personal, you're looking for one specific yeah, size. Yeah, and one and most people seem to do that, don't yeah. they? Yeah. I keep an eye out for these weird um, jigsaws, just to try and. There, there are some that sell for ridiculous money, so I like to just keep a little check, see if um, the ones that I'm picking up are the ridiculous money ones, but that wasn't... Oh, oh there I am. <laughs> <laughs> you must have been bored. <laughs> One thing I hardly ever check at this Salvation is the kids' section. It always looks so sparse and so random that... It doesn't get you excited. Yeah, it just don't, don't want me to go through it. This old suitcase was nice. Again, a lovely piece, uh, leather-bound suitcase. But at fifteen pound, there's just not there's not the demand for the old suitcases as there as there was before. And you can tell these people here are resellers. They've got a basket full of plush toys, soft toys. Uh, I think today it was ten for a pound on the small ones. I think we're in the next one now. Yeah, aren't so they? just for everyone's thing, the reason I don't uh, leave the camera on when I'm painting there is there is a woman behind there who's uh, requested that she's not filmed. So I try and keep her off it. She was just behind a lady who was serving me, so I, I switched the camera off. This is a slushy maker, um, like you push it in and it makes the, it, uh, something like that. Anyway, if it had the spoon and a straw to it, for ten, they, they, they're they 10p, so it's 10 for a pound on those. Um, that would have sold for around about 19 pounds, so that's why I was just checking that one out. Um, so they're ones to look out for, definitely. This Delcy suitcase was here last time I came, and I didn't check it out because it's not one that really sells quick, but... Um, I did look in this one, and a little bit of a tip. Um, I think you mentioned this on your social. I put as well, didn't I you? put this on my Instagram reel and on TikTok. Is to check inside all the pockets inside. A lot of people were leaving that because they didn't think it locked. The code on it doesn't work, but there is two locks on there for a key. And just by looking in the side of the pockets, the people who had donated it had left the keys in there. So that two pound that I spent on this case will ultimately, if it didn't have the key, would have been 15 to 20. Now it has the key, it's 25 to 30. I liked this store. I liked this store better than the other one, I think. Better than the first one. Why is that, though? I don't know. It were a lot calmer. Um... I don't, I don't know, I felt the, the, the vibe was a bit more positive. Right. <laughs> I suppose the other, one, the other one to me is like a proper shopping store, whereas this one's like a warehouse. Yeah. It just felt like there was, it was more like you'd found some hidden treasure there. Yeah, this is more like you're, pick, there. you're picking rather than just viewing off a yeah. shelf. Yeah, I agree, yeah. That's probably why. This is quite a nice um, toilet seat that I picked up. I made love, a few jokes it. on this one. I'm sure she's going to put them back in. But this no, is they're, a in, they're in the end. Don't, <laughs> say, don't ruin it. So this is the um, Balmoral toilet seat. Balmoral is a really good... We've got off that now. Come on, keep with it. Well, uh, yeah, but these are rubbish. These are like a right, Zephyr okay. thing. Anyway, look out for the Balmoral uh, brand. It's in London. They do high-end toilets, uh, and this is a toilet seat from that. 
um, which is brand new in the packaging and that cost me a fiver. What's that you're looking at there? Those were the Zephira things that I was saying, they're like um, door liners. Yeah. Just checking this cool box out if it was a thermos, but it wasn't, so I decided to put that one back. And it's not summer and it's quite a bulky item, so not a lot of people would have been searching for that item. Just been sat on the shelf for a while. I spent a lot of time here looking at the books. As you can see. I know, it's been a while. <laughs> this is one of the cheaper of all the charity shops that I've, I've actually been in. Um, it's just a case of getting rid of stock at this one. I didn't realise though that they had a little game section. Which I know I've said before that I won't be picking any more games up. But... I thought it was worth checking. I thought all these were just DVDs, but there is some games chucked in. Or there are some games chucked in before Amy says anything. <laughs> um, and it was worth just double checking. And I did pick one little gem out, which I'll be picking up in a second. Oh, these are my finds. These are some coasters and place mat six of each um in this that alice in wonderland style did we say yeah um i didn't open them i just gave them to dan i didn't know what they were like inside but i thought they look like they were packaged rather well and um i know he sold like vintage Clo it's cloverleaf things. the brand yeah, i've, like I've sold before. cloverleaf quite a lot you, cloverleaf placemats normally average between like eight to ten pounds a set with these being the Alice in Wonderland, look at Amy being right happy with herself, poking her head in. <laughs> uh, with these being a matching set for the coasters and the placemats and the Alice in Wonderland theme, there, there's none online. I can't find them anywhere. They just remind me of my nan's house. My nan didn't have these when I had different ones with animals on them, but that kind of style, I don't know what I'm saying there. She's saying, look at me, how excited you are. That, <laughs> that kind of style, I just think is so nostalgic and comforting. I think they'll sell really well, hopefully. So just while she did that, I picked up this NHL 2002. There wasn't many sold comps, but uh, I think games were here were 20p. Uh, and that one was averaging around about £17. So it was definitely worth one picking up. The Cloverleaf, what Amy brought in, I like to be pitching them around about £26.65 uh, plus £3.35 shipping. They were really nice. They were in really, really good condition. I don't think they've come out of the box. I don't think they've ever been used. Best pick ever. For Amy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Not masses of profit. We paid £3, so it was £1 for the uh, coast and £2 for the placemats, but a really nice vintage pickup, which I'm hoping Cheryl will, will be very happy with. Have no. you showed her yet? No, I haven't showed her. No, she's been oh. she's in Poland. Yeah, she'll be so I'll excited. We hope she'll be excited. Yeah. <laughs> Cheryl, when you watch this, just comment down saying Amy's done well. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you watch, she might not watch me. I know. We'll get her watching. Yeah. We we'll watch her. hers. Yeah, we, we watch yours, Cheryl. Always worth just checking the golf clubs. They're a pound a club here or bags are two pound. I've picked some really good bags up from here. Not so much the golf clubs, but the, the bags I've, I've done really well off. Uh, but all these ones have been here for well over a month. Uh, it's just just slow to, to get them out. Amy's picked up a few more things that she wanted me to oh. check out. Oh, I saw all the... Um, I really love... I won't say I love the Royal Family, but I'm interested in the Royal Family. I love history. So anything to do with that, I'm straight there. Um, I hope you're all watching The Crown, season five, that's just come out. That's a belter. Um, yeah, but all this was like, I think a lot of it was Diana and Charles memorabilia. It was. Uh, which so should definitely, I mean, to say, I just thought it was so, I think stuff like this, more than a value thing, it's just important that it, it isn't destroyed. Yeah. And that it, it keeps going, and it goes to someone that's, genuinely interested and cares about um this this kind of thing so it's like official um, there's, there's official magazines in there there was official merchandise from the wedding like this notepad a book there were newspaper there were newspaper cutouts there were quite a lot um they were weirdly they were all individually priced 
but the guy just bundles them all together and says a pound you can have them all that's unbelievable which, that which I thought was quite a good deal and I, I value the whole thing at around about 15 quid no more probably but I haven't done masses of research in I did see this other one I chucked that on top which is the one that actually is marked up at a pound and he just gives us the whole book that book plus all that for a pound so it was a really nice deal I just didn't think he wants us to be looking through all the documents in there but hopefully, yeah, 15 to £20 pound from that one. And then we're going out. I really enjoyed that stall. I thought that stall, that was shop, sorry. I thought it was really nice. Most I've ever been excited. Sorry, we were doing a bit of an explanation of what we picked up here. Uh, but the garage that's next to it, well, we parked in front of it, uh, had music blurting out, so you could hardly hear us. Um... I think we're just going through it, aren't we? Just more detail, because neither of us had looked properly. Yeah. So each one of these items were actually marked up at 50p. Um, but right at the bottom, quite a few newspaper cut out. Yeah, but they, they probably don't expect someone going to buy the whole thing. They probably no, expect people yeah. just going to buy one off. With the crown just coming out as well, these should have a better, a higher sell-through rate, especially with it all being about Diana. Um, this, the, this sort of stuff will pique some interest with people who are currently watching the crown and will look for items or memorabilia from that that occasion yeah. now we'll go into a posh one it is quite it is quite um, you've got a bit of a thrill from them cover leaf ones i didn't even see them it is that, no it's, it's quite a good feeling when you just she's well happy yeah but even from that three quid if we met like 25 it's still a good even, investment i'm not even thinking about the money for me it's more about like you've seen something that's lovely yeah but then because you're putting it on there and no one else has or the people have got the have got the um option to buy things yeah You won't have seen inside here on my channel before. I'm sure you will. I think we have very briefly. I did very, we come yeah, into it? Yeah, yeah. but you don't, you're I not normally, here long. I avoid this place. Um, I don't really do much research in here because I know that everything is pretty much overpriced or on the higher end of the price that there isn't. I'd any say margin. more expensive than high street shops. Yeah, it's it's pretty ridiculous to be honest. The prices that they charge. I I, I, we are I reckon good. people will shop in here and they'll like it because it is set out more like a normal store yeah i mean they've got the, they've, got, they've got a coffee shop in here that will bring people in it's more for the furniture that's been donated to the ashgate even that was astronomical which though. was a ridiculous price as well there weren't even like any big brands in here it was just like nicer versions like They'd probably give them a steam though yeah, and then they think, they think oh then we can charge a bit more because there isn't a massive clothes section in the warehouse bit it's they must bring them all over to you. You were and oaring on this vest top. I like right, this one. Yeah. This is a vintage Nike vest top on an old label, um, made in the US, I believe. But I think it was £7, and these sell for around about 14 to 16 So I could have doubled my money, but once you took the eBay fees off and everything I like that. I thought you said it was three. It was what? Three. I thought it was seven. Uh, not sure. Anyway, yeah, I were rumming and arming about it. I said I, yeah, I said I was going to buy it and then I changed my mind because I don't know, I was looking at all the other price I think it just put me off buying it I don't know why it's just not a thing like we're coming into winter as well, like who needs a running vest well you do, you know, never get you in <laughs> can I, I'm like Dan not, I'm always out. not another run yeah, I just get back running. in here <laughs> <laughs> You're a cheeky thing, aren't you? <laughs> We're at, there's me pointing back. I've had enough of that one. <laughs> I actually wanted to leave at this point, but I think you dragged me back round to the other side. I just wanted to look around, yeah. yeah. I've like, had enough anyway. Come on, Dan. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I'm I've ever giving been... it. Let's give it a chance. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been past that first That's room. That's a little coffee area to the right. Yeah. Where we, where we didn't start, did we? No, I'm not getting a coffee. Although we stopped at Starbucks twice during this outing, <laughs> so. <laughs> Some really. These, these rug, those rugs were nice. I was just about to say Sorry, that. Sorry, carry on. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I was checking out the electronics. <laughs> right, so all the resellers watching this, for a Philips, 
DVD player, £20. Oh, you know, heart attacks, honestly. <laughs> it, it was ridiculous. It, oh, gosh, it's cheaper. It, it, I, I checked one thing, I think I go back and have that a That fridge, that fridge there, I think they wanted £45. That one that was, like, stained yellow. Yeah. Crazy. There was one in there, there was a, a set of scales, and... I think I go on about it in the in the in the video, so I'm not going to mention it now. But it was absolutely ridiculous pricing, and I just had had enough. We're out, weren't we? We were out. Oh, Even Amy were annoyed. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was expensive. So in the end, really nice picking. Uh, not masses at the Salvation Army, but the Tigger toy working was fantastic. Paid up a bit, fifteen quid. Non available, you know, a vintage <laughs> Disney toy. <laughs> Christmas time, like that, I'd be probably asking around about 60, 70 quid, I'd hope. Uh, but we'll see how we get on with that one. Quite a large item to ship, but I've got a box perfect for that one. Um, uh, and then the little handmade <laughs> cardboard Christmas decorations, really good. I like picking those up, sell quite well. Amy, do you want to talk about your clover leaf pickup? I found some clover leaf coasters and placemats. Well done, there we go. Um, yeah, I found them. Amy found them. She's very I happy. I ran to him like a child. I was like, I've not opened them. Here you go. <laughs> Uh, so the Cloverfield, uh, some sort of addition, but I, there's none online. There's, there's the, the Alice in Wonderland ones, a matching set. Paid three quid for them, uh, and I think we'll do really well. Not really well, but like I'd probably You're definitely going to make more than three pounds. Yeah, sure. I'd, I'd probably put them up for around about twenty six sixty five plus three thirty five shipping, so thirty quid all in, mm. which I'd be quite happy they, with. They were lovely. Yeah, they were nice. They were nice, and then the. Princess Diana uh, memorabilia, that's, especially that's with, really nice. with the crown coming back on. I'd like a good look through that first, actually. Yeah, the old newspaper cut out, some magazines, books, stuff like that, and they charged me a pound for the whole box, so that was a good deal. Got to make money like from you that. should go back in and say, oh, are you sure that's enough? I feel like we've robbed him. Well, yeah, but he said it. It's not me. He could have just looked in the box. They ain't got time to do that all every yeah, time. I feel they? like these prices they put on are just a guide, aren't they? Yeah. They don't they just do what they want really. Yeah, it's just what what they feel like doing. Yeah. It's like when we went to the Salvation Army, the some of the baubles were marked up at a pound, some of them are up for fifty P. It's just count them all up at fifty P each. So and She. Yeah. Yeah, it was a she. You said he. Did he? She. Uh, <laughs> uh so I'll wrap it with that one. Um what else have I? Um, oh the Delcy suitcase, two pound. It has the key inside. The yeah, it has the key inside. So two pound into twenty all day the long plus shipping. Seat. The toilet seat was a, sh a surprising one. That's brand new. Uh, so I bought that for a fiver, and they're all up for around about sixty quid. And it's got a fancy design on it. So just those plain white ones are up for I sixty quid. I don't think quid. you'll be uh, sitting on that product for long. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrible. Um, <laughs> I can't think now. And then the NHL oh, game. Like 50... I'm trying to think of some more. <laughs> I, I weren't going to poo poo that, that bargain. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So. Uh, we're, we're happy. We're going to head home now. We've got some video editing to do. You trumped me with that one. <laughs> Stop it. Sorry. Stop on. it. We're professional pickers. Um, yeah, professional pickers. So we've had some good money. We're really happy. We went into the really expensive one. I cannot understand that place at no, all. No, I reckon they're selling that for more than the people who donated it bought it for. Yeah. So the scales Crazy. that I picked up, they want a 25 quid. I can get it shipped to my house for £16 second hand. So like, where's the research gone into that one? Like, Who's going to buy it? Well, no one was buying. I mean, it's a Saturday. Everyone had just gone for the coffee shop, and no one was actually buying anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's just straight. I don't. I don't crazy, get the mentality it? in those sort of charity shops. I but, find very few charity shops actually get it right. Don't you? Yeah. Well, there I are mean, the, the few that I've been in. They well, seem to be too overpriced or just sillyly low. Yeah. Well, like. Even that one probably could have charged double. It's still been cheap, but they yeah. could have charged well, double. Well, 11 quid all in for all of that was was a bit of a... A bit silly. Yeah, it could have... I'd have paid more. Yeah. But you're not you, But you're not going to say that, are you? Like, you're just going to pay whatever they want you to pay. So, did I'll, you enjoy it, I Amy? look a lot taller than you. I don't know why, because that's not the case, is it? Well, did I enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Oh, there we go then. Right. Yeah, great great nice. analysis by Amy there, really good. I still I still struggle to see value in things that you do, but hmm. 
we'll get there. Yeah. Well, you picked up the baubles and the clover leaf thingy, so you, you've done all right. You've helped. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. And I'd just like to say thank you to everyone that does watch. We do really appreciate it. We do it, definitely we? appreciate it, definitely. And we like it's a, it's a nice atmosphere in the comments and stuff like that. It's it's, it's really it's nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate all the support, and I appreciate everyone. Um, contact me on instagram asking me questions you know saying thank you and everything like that it's really nice really really nice so i'm just not in it do you want so, me to call it oh yeah you're far away well i'm not in it now yeah so that's not a flattering <laughs> angle for daniel <laughs> all right we've been five minutes at this yeah right uh so thank you for watching the video <laughs> if you like this one hit the subscribe button hit the like comment if you want amy to come along with me again uh, oh, oh no <laughs> he was gonna do me a challenge today and i said it's too soon i was gonna give you 20 quid i'm gonna give you 20 quid and say make me some money so you could have got them clover leaf things and made some money you'd have made more than your 20 quid yeah. i mean I, yeah i'll probably yeah yeah. You're waffling I on. I feel we're, like we're a Saturday is a bit of an intense atmosphere. Yeah, it is. Like it, a, we're very a busy in that Salvation Army. Be able to perform better. Oh, yeah, we're looking for performance. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and over, over and out, out from, from the, the selling, selling down. down.